Emmanuel, God with us. Look at verses 22 and 23. Let's read these verses together. Let's go. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said through the prophet. The virgin will be with the child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. This is the comment of the author Matthew about the coming of the Savior Jesus Christ. Jesus. There might be several other prophecies he could have talked about in regard to Jesus' coming. But he only mentions about this. Emmanuel, God with us. Let's shout this together. Emmanuel, God with us. To him, God being with us, lowly human beings, was the most amazing thing. A virgin named Mary gave birth to a child. Wow, this is a universal event. So shocking and so amazing. So people ask, what's the meaning of this miracle? Its meaning is Emmanuel, which means God with us. This prophecy of the Virgin birth, Emmanuel, is from Isaiah chapter 7. About 700 uh, uh, before Christ, when the southern uh, uh, kingdom Judah was attacked by the joint forces of, uh, of the northern kingdom Israel and Aram, God sent his servant Isaiah to Ahaz, the king, and told him that he would help them and protect them. God even told him, ask the Lord your God for a sign, whether in the deepest depths or in the highest heights. The sign of God's confirmation that he would really help them. Any sign. Wow, if you are told to do this, what, would, what kind of sign would you ask? Maybe, like Joshua, you would say, Lord, stop the the, the sun for one whole day. Then two days uh, uh, with the sun. Wow. That's what you'd ask and God would do it. Oh, what else? Maybe you'd say Pacific Ocean would rise uh, and then the, uh, the cover us the, for three seconds <laughs> and then go back. <laughs> God would do it, really. So whatever you ask, any sign, really. God really wanted to help his people. God really wanted them to trust in him. But the king rejected God's offer saying, I will not put the Lord to the test because he had already decided to rely on some tangible help from the Assyrian Empire. You know, rather than relying on God's help. God was willing to go this much, but he rejected this using some Bible, the biblical sounding expression. At this, the prophet Isaiah was really angry. He was angry. Oh, this evil king. So he rebuked the king saying, Hear now, you house of David. Is it not enough to try the patience of men? Will you try the patience of my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be, a, will be with child and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. <clears throat> by their unbelief, by rejecting God, they really tried God's patience. They were really bad, despicable. Yet, God's desire to be with them was bigger than their sin. Despite their rejection, God still gave them this sign, the virgin, the sign of the virgin giving birth to a son. 
this sign of the virgin giving birth to a son was God's confirmation that he was with them. Emmanuel, God with us. The author, Matthew, like all other people in the world, pursued his own life as a tax collector. And he was somewhat successful establishing his career very well with a license, position, and wealth. But the problem was that no one was with him. No one wanted to be with him. So now with a lot of money, he was all alone. With a lot of money, what would he do all by himself? There was nothing he could do. Money had no meaning at all. Instead of what? He would uh, just drink beer every night and watch the TV until he fell asleep. That's what he was doing. He was really lonely, sorrowful, and depressed. That's how he spent every night. Every night. He was like a flickering wick that would die any moment. No one knew what's going on in his life. Just they, they, they despised him and blamed him and cursed him. No one wanted to be with him. But amazingly, Jesus wanted to be with him. That when he saw him sitting at the tax booth, he called him to follow him so that he would be with Jesus all the time. Jesus wanted to be with Matthew. When he had life on his own, he was bankrupt. It was painful and miserable. But when he had life together with Jesus, serving God's work together with him, he was healed of his wounds and scars. Loneliness and depression disappeared. And as he did the work of God together with Jesus, his life carried real value and real meaning. And as he lived that kind of life, he was so happy and satisfied. He became a great man of God, the Apostle Matthew. To Matthew, Jesus was his Emmanuel God who was with him. So with such great confidence in God's great love for him, he said to all, he says to all people on earth, Emmanuel, God with us. In his eyes, all these people can have hope for a new life in Jesus. Emmanuel, God with us. Like King Ahaz, people usually don't trust in God's help, but on something tangible, such as money they have, or they rely on their family, or their own strengths. That way, while saying some biblical sounding words, such as, I will not put the Lord to the test, they effectively reject God in their real life. Being on their own in their life, only to be miserable, lonely, and sorrowful. When they are on their own, they are nothing but demons' toys, enemies' toys. Demons play with them for a while, then finish them. For all these skeptical people, for all these people who have tendency of mistrust, God shouts, God delivers this message, Emmanuel, God with us. The virgin birth of Jesus is God's sign for all people's owners. This sign stands out so greatly in the entire human history. 
so big sign really, so great that no one can miss it. Drawing all people's attention. Everyone throughout the world, generation after generation, can read this sign. The virgin giving birth to a son. Wow! That person has only 24 chromosomes. Wow! Wow! We all have 46, but he has only 24. What's going on? So people ask, what is the meaning of this sign? It is Emmanuel, God with us. This virgin birth shows God's burning desire to be with us. He wants us to be in our day-to-day -day life. He wants to help us. He wants, to, he wants us to accept Him and have life together with Him. His desire to be with us is so great that He carried such a great uh, uh, propaganda. These days, the uh, politicians uh, who want to be pol uh, the presidents of the USA uh, uh, carry a lot of propaganda. But God carried really huge propaganda. The virgin giving birth to a child so that all people can read, can see his sign and understand this. Emmanuel, God with us. So no one should say, no one understands me. God cares for you. And God understands you. The only thing is, we should not reject God's desire for us. Instead, we must open our hearts and accept Him and have life together with Him by working for His kingdom work. This is what God wants us to do. And he will be really happy. Just like the kingdom of Judah, our life comes with a lot of dangers. The danger of car accident. The danger of gangsters and robbers. The danger of diseases. The danger of mosquitoes. We are really scared of mosquitoes. Why? They can may carry West Nile virus or malaria. The danger of bacteria. The danger of viruses. So people are scared to touch, uh, hold that uh, cart at Sam's, uh, Sam's Club. <laughs> the danger of humans. All kinds of humans, really. Uh, People are scared of humans. The danger of animals. Darius had a job, and then the dog attacked him, and he was injured, and he lost job because of that. Be careful of dogs, okay? <laughs> so the danger of humans, the danger of animals, and the danger of demons. Oh, there are demons too. The danger of earthquakes, the danger of wildfires, the danger of weapons, and the danger of wars, the danger, 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 danger. Endless, really. How scared we are when we catch cold. It's just common cold. It'll be okay. But we are so scared. Who knows? <laughs> How scared we are when we have nausea or dizziness or headache. It'll be gone soon, but we are scared, really. There is indeed no end. Indeed, our life is like a journey through the land mine, a landmine. We never know what is there. We never know what will happen. So fear is there all the time. For these people, humans, what can be real good news for us? 
What about money? Great job. What about great success? What about marriage? Those things cannot be real good news for us. Why? Because tomorrow, who knows? Your great job may be gone tomorrow. You will never know what will happen tomorrow. So those things, these things cannot be the real good news for humans. The real good news is what God brought to us. God brought to us real good news. What is it? Emmanuel, God with us. This is the real good news. Wow. God brought this good news. God with us. It means He is our shield. It means He guides us. Then with God guiding us and protecting us, we can say, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Wow, what great confidence we can enjoy. Sometimes we feel alone. Sometimes we wonder if God is still there with us. So we look back, and then there, ah, our God, Jesus, standing and smiling and asking us to go wholeheartedly all the more. Sometimes life challenges are too heavy that we fall in despair. Then Jesus comes and bids us to rise and walk, promising that he will give us new strength. He will help us. Surely, God will guide us to the heavenly shore, safe and sound. And there, we'll see him face to face. What good news this is. Emmanuel, God with us. Look at verses 24 and 25. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. He realized that God was going to use his family for his special purpose. This would affect his marriage, his family, and his entire life greatly. But he was so happy. He was willing, he, he was willing to accept it offering his marriage dream, his family life, and everything to God for his purpose. Joseph was a great man. When Mary gave birth to a son, he gave him the name Jesus. One word, Emmanuel, God with us. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Oh Lord, we thank you so much for being mindful of our miserable and lonely, uh, lonely, uh, lonely condition that you came to help us. You uh, want to be with us. You uh, sent Jesus as our Savior who saves us from our sins and gave us this new life. May you bless us that we may bring this good news of salvation from the sins to many suffering students on our campuses. Our Father, we also give great thanks to you for your love, your desire for us, that you want to be with us, even no one else, even no one wanted to be with us because of this grace of God, your love. Today, we are so healed and we are, so, we are enjoying this wonderful life. May you bless us that in all circumstances, we may seek you and you will, Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.